year, the training academy in Elspreit, where we are preparing for uh, our deployment uh, and our departure on the 14th of June. Uh, all the teams arrived here safely on Saturday. We've got a group of 200 firefighters and 13 management, and we're just doing some refresher training in preparation for our departure to Canada. The training involves uh, melon rolling, where they we teach them how to properly roll up the canvas hoses, um, pump operating, uh, we do fire line safety, we do helicopter safety uh, to safely embark and disembark. And then we also do some other theoretical training. We're also doing the SIF C fitness test, which is a standard uh, that I apply in Canada to test fitness and all our firefighters will also do the standard SIF C fitness test. I must say the morale is very high. The teams are very excited for the departure to Canada and uh, we all look forward to a very successful deployment to Canada. I feel very happy about uh, being exposed to or uh, rather to go out abroad the country and I think it's one of the memories that I will cherish forever and I'll be internally because work has made me to be part of, 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 of the deployment and and by so doing it it also makes me to grow as, as an individual and in the career wise within um, the, uh, the, the fault and forest uh, firefighter. From now I'm going to do the Canadian uh, fitness and I promise uh, the province, KZN, where I'm from, that I'm going to make it. I'm a driver, I know, but I still fit, I can do everything perfectly. Because it's not my first time going there, I know exactly what I, I have to do there. I know what is expected there, even the environment as well. I used to share with other guys, my colleagues, that we, guys, what we have to expect in that side. Uh, I don't want to forget to thank our management, especially KZN, where I'm from, because by giving us this chance, as well as my base, Mazwana, I want to, to thank to them uh, for a support. They've sent uh, the congratulations to me. Then they supported with everything. I like to say thank to them, as well as my family. They phoned me now asking how is the condition inside. I told them that we are coping and we are going to do it.